junk, but valuable junk. From such junk, we learn better ways to attack the enemy. Here's your weapon. It's called Kakaloo. Comes in a box of five. Looks like something else. It doesn't cause any explosions, but it does ruin the insides of internal combustion engines. We open it up to show that Kakalube is a thin rubber sack filled with a gritty mixture which makes a hell of a mess out of the moving parts of an engine through its lubricating system. Now we'll show you just where to put Kakalube. Exhibit one, tractor. All you have to do is take the cover off the oil intake, pull up the gauge and drop in Kakalube as is. Don't forget to put back the cover and the gauge. Exhibit two, medium tank. Oil intake is in the rear. To get at it, you have first to open this armored lid. You'll need a square key or any metal tool with a square end that'll fit into the catch. The oil intake, the one you want, is on the right. And here's why you need to take a good look down into each oil pipe before dropping your cacalube. You may find a screen there. In this case, we were able to get it out very easily. Then Kakalube slipped in without any trouble. And the screen went back in place just as though we hadn't tampered with it. Exhibit three, Jap truck. Its intake has a removable screen, making it an easy target. If you can't get the screen out, try to punch a hole through it. Exhibit four, Jap motorcycle. Kakalube goes through this opening, straight into the lubricating system. Here's what happened inside an engine wrecked with cacalube. Piston scored, piston rod twisted and broken, some of the parts welded together. After cacalube is installed, the oil eats away the rubber sack, freeing the gritty mixture. When the engine is started, the oil flowing through all parts of the lubricating system carries the mixture with it. The damage you see here is produced when a vehicle has been run between 20 and 30 miles. Not much the enemy could do but get a whole new engine.